Well, time for an update on this car. Last week I uh, replaced the engine that was in there. It's just another stock LT1 I rebuilt. Uh, I mentioned my last video, new bearings, uh, rings, gaskets, all that stuff. Did all the machine work myself. Um, everything was in spec. The engine runs good now. Place that fender well there. And car runs pretty good. I'm gonna say get some new tires for this thing because these are completely shot and do a little bit of a paint repair. But all in all, it's not pretty nice. And of course we have the cat out here hanging out. He helped with the project. He slept under the car most of the time. Um, so, there's a few things. I gotta fix that dent, fix the paint, repaint the spoiler. You know, can finally move on to this stuff now that the car runs and drives. Uh, steering's a complete mess on this. Most of the steering components look original. And replace all the uh, steering components because when you have this car lifted up, if you grab the wheel, you can actually turn it in and out, and the whole steering rack just lifts up and down. So there's tons of play in it. And the alignment's pretty crappy. They have the steering wheel pointed straight right now, and see how far that wheel's pointing out. This one's pointing out a little bit, but not as bad. You can feel it when driving it. It's there's just so much slop in it. These wheels can't stay straight. Uh, what else? Uh, replace the headlights. This is what the originals looked like. <coughs> Yellow. This one's cracked. Yeah, it's junk. These are off of a low mileage car. Nice and clear. Uh, replace the core support. The old one was rotting here from, I guess, a battery leak. And the whole bottom of it was rotted through along with this fender liner. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, interior is nice and clean now. Still has a faint smell. Mostly cleaners now, but very tolerable. It's not as it doesn't smell horrible like when I first bought the car. <clears throat> Found a replacement seat skin off of the Impala Forum. Not too bad. It's only got a few rips in it, which is pretty good for uh, one of these seats. Um, yeah, I got some electrical demons to chase. After I uh, tore the car apart, the power mirrors don't work, the right turn signal doesn't work, and the interior lighting is dead. So it's probably a ground somewhere. It's another thing to look at. God, these tires are crap. Split there. These things are bald. I think these tires are pushing 10 years old too. You know, dry rotted. Front ones aren't that bad. Rear ones are definitely worse. But if you look at the rear tread, which is hard to get with the camera, it's cracked between all this. So new tires are in order. Let's start it up.
Motor's pretty much stock. What do you want? Hey, you're interrupting my video. Hey. <laughs> See that guy around here a lot. Anyways, motor's mostly stock. Actually, pretty much all stock parts. Uh, I had to replace this exhaust manifold. Everything that could break off of this one did. Luckily, Dorman sells just this side. That was replaced. And also, well, the only mod I did on this car is I put in an S10 torque converter. And I picked up an advance. Um, it's got a higher stall rating. The S10 one is rated at around 2,000 RPM stall. Factory B body one is about 1,100, 1,200, somewhere around there. Now on the road you can feel it definitely does give it a nice extra kick because it gets the engine up in the power band a little better. But that's about it for this. Yeah, it runs and drives all right. Just got to put some miles on it, break this engine in. Steering and tires and this car will be ready. Hmm? You like the Impala? So, that's about it for this one. I'm sure I'll have some other videos of it in the future.